December brings cold weather, but inside, Oscar hopefuls are heating up the silver screen. Venus and Serena gonna shake up this world. So we asked former Boston Globe film critic Ty Burr to share some cinematic selections from his latest endeavor, Ty Burr's Watch List. We're living through a period of total flux in the entertainment industry where every company has its own streaming service. So that's kind of my mission with uh, Ty Burr's Watch List is to uh, you know, guide people to good stuff. But I'm also trying to bring people back to movies. And here are four features Burr believes are worth the trip. So stand very still and smile. Spencer's a movie that's already opened in theaters. It stars Kristen Stewart as Diana, Princess of Wales. Will they kill me, do you think? I think some people still think she's that girl that talks of the monotone from the Twilight movies. She gets the mannerisms, she gets the accent, she inhabits this person. And I think it's very, very likely Stewart will be nominated for a Best Actress Oscar, which I think will send some people back on their heels, but they haven't been paying attention. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh no, brother man. I got me the next two. Will Smith, this is a guy who's been through a lot of career ups and downs, and he's coming roaring back with just a terrific performance as the father of Serena and Venus Williams. Venus Williams, what you want? Let's show all of those people that I can handle what's coming. Cyrano. Cyrano, here's another classic play you know, that's being turned into a movie yet again. But in this version, Cyrano doesn't have a long nose. In this version, Cyrano is played by Peter Dinklage of Game of Thrones. And his size is what separates him from society. But he has such charisma. He's a movie star. There's a place for us. This one has been kind of in the oven for so long that people have kind of forgotten it. I think it was going to be the big Christmas movie of 2020, and then the pandemic intervened. It is Steven Spielberg remaking the beloved musical from the 60s. He's our most trusted director. If uh, somebody can rewarm the story and make it, um, you know, matter for today, I imagine that he can. I'm just so proud and honored that I got this shot late in my career. <laughs> Live theater is back too, but as theater critic and frequent Boston Globe contributor Terry Byrne tells us, you'll need a little patience getting in. Theater always, over the centuries, has overcome incredible obstacles. That being said, you do have to show proof of vaccination and wear a mask when you're in the theater, which seems like a reasonable way to protect each other. Here are four shows Byrne is masking up for. All is Calm is playing at the Greater Boston Stage Company in Stoneham, which is where we are right now. 1914, at Christmas Eve, the soldiers in the trenches, who were the Germans and the British, took an, an evening, a moment, to sing Christmas carols together. They played soccer. All is Calm is a documentary kind of musical concert that's based on um, diary uh, entries and other uh, actual writings of soldiers in World War I. The big theater companies around the state and in Rhode Island are all doing their really great, really classic productions of A Christmas Carol. So that's North Shore Music Theater, the Hanover Theater in Worcester, and Trinity Rep in Providence, Rhode Island. And I think it's a classic story of having a moment when you realize I have to just adjust my priorities. And who hasn't done that in the last 18 months? There's a new artistic director at Merrimack Repertory Theater in Lowell, and she arrived from Seattle moments before we all went into shutdown, and she has commissioned a new play called The Rise and Fall of Holly Fudge. So it's about what happens in the pandemic and how we have to rethink what we think are important traditions at the holidays. It should be fun. One of the things I missed most last holiday season was a production by the Gold Dust Orphans. So this year, luckily, they're coming back and they're doing Mrs. Grinchley's Christmas Carol. So this is a mashup of How the Grinch Stole Christmas and A Christmas Carol. It's just a great adventure. Totally unexpected what you're gonna see, but so much fun. Guaranteed belly laughs. And back to Ty Burr, the film critic. We asked for a good family mu yeah. music. Uh, uh, 
movie, a classic movie that would be fun for the whole family to watch, and he recommended a musical satire called um, It's Always Fair Weather. I had not heard about it. Okay, well, it's by the same people who brought you Singing in the Rain, and if you haven't mm. seen Singing in the Rain, then it is suggested to forget everything that you just <laughs> said and watch Singing in the Rain. Ty Burr says it is one of his favorite all-time movies, one of the greatest ones ever made. A couple of great recommendations coming up, bringing the house down.